this video will look at checklists in ServiceNow. So checklists are a plugin that allows users to create and update their own checklists uh, in different uh, task records. Uh, it is active by default. I think this is since Rome, at least, maybe even earlier, that it's uh, active by default on instances. If you go into an instance, we're here in my PDI, you can see there's a checklist plugin and that is installed. Uh, it does say that it's a paid plugin. I'm not sure what that's about. I, I think it actually just comes with the platform now. Uh, so if we go over to where we find checklists uh, by default in the platform, you find them in visual task boards that are uh, data-driven visual task boards. If I go here, I have a, a VTB with uh, incidents. And if I go into one of these, um, we can see over here on the right, this little checklist thing, and I can start creating uh, checklists, do this, then do this, or let's say then do that. I can also uh, save this checklist as a template. So I can do that, let's say uh, my template. And you can lock it down to a group if you'd like. So then when I am, let's say I remove this checklist, I'll delete it. And I want to create a new one. I can either just start adding items for a fresh one, or I can go to the three dots here and do uh, create from template, right? So I have this and that template, which I created before this video, and then my template, which I just created. And that brings this up. Um, so it's active by default in the VTB, but if we go over to, we might want checklists uh, in regular record views because they are a useful thing. In HRSD, they actually come by default in the forms for the different uh, tables in HRSD. If we go to, let's see, HR and we go open. And I'll just go into any HR case here. This is just the out-of-the-box uh, demo data. If we scroll down here, we can see the checklist uh, formatter is already present on the, uh, on the form in the Fulfillment Instructions tab. Um, HRSD is interesting because you can actually, uh, there's another way to create the template so that it creates the checklist immediately as soon as the case is opened. Uh, without having to, the user having to do this kind of thing. You can give them the checklist uh, right off the bat. So for that, we can go to, uh, actually it's in the service configuration. So let's go here, service configuration. And let's say we have a Maybe something simple here. How about a visual vision benefits uh, enrollment? We have to be on the right scope. So down here you see a checklist. Oh, and actually this one already has it, right? So we have all the different items here. So anytime a new uh, case is created that's under the vision benefits enrollment modification service, this checklist will get uh, will get put in there uh, by default. Uh, if we go over and let's say so, checklists are useful. Uh, they're in HRSD by default. Let's say we wanted them in uh, an ITSM record, uh, say maybe an incident task, or actually even better, how about a catalog item? So if we go to the form that so let's let's find a rhythm service catalog open items uh, items and we'll go in here and so by default it's not on this form let's put it there so we go form designer and actually I'm gonna have to go to global scope so form designer And now we can see that if we go all the way down here, 
there's a formatter called checklist. So I can put that in. Maybe I want to put that in my in its in its own tab. Uh, all right, we'll just stick it down here for now, even though it's not really gonna. We'll, we'll call this one info, just so it creates a, another tab, and we'll call this one checklist. That one column, and we'll throw checklist in there. We'll save that. And so we'll go back to our form, reload it. And now we have the checklist tab with the checklist, similar to what we saw in HRSD. If I click on this little triangle in a circle, uh, we can see my templates there. Do this, then do that. And then I can also remove the checklist. And just like ITSM, or just like uh, we saw in the VTB, if I do a create new and I do one and I do another one, and then I really like that, so I want to save it as a template, I can do it and I get that same sort of uh, dialog window that I had in the VTB. I give it a name and I can assign it to a group. Uh, so that's a just a brief overview of how the checklists work in the platform in HRSD and in uh, if you want to use them elsewhere. Um, in another video, I will take a look at a, another uh, how to solve another problem. And I'll just look at the problem here and give you the solution in another video, which is checklists are great when you're creating them and uh, and, and using them a useful way to kind of keep track of things. Um, however, every time you either create an item or you check an item off, you see it fills up the activity log or the journal with, uh, with these work notes. Uh, right, checklist item checked off, checklist item unchecked. Uh, so it gets really cluttered really quickly. Uh, so in another video, I will show you how to turn that off. Thanks for watching.